I just think that, you know, I can do professional. It's time to prove that. Where's your collar? Fuck a collar. Gross. Where's your slacks? The, the man makes the suit. Yeah? Did you actually no, make a suit? No, I bought a suit. The suit does not make the man, you're saying? I, I only wear it to weddings. This is not a wedding. This is Professional Wednesdays. Our show where we take a look at the latest new releases. <laughs> and you have to think about that one. Welcome what? to the stunning conclusion of Professional Wednesdays. What? I'm Jeff Gerstman. Season, uh, the series, the uh, season finale. Season finale. Joined finale. by Patrick Klepek, Brad Shoemaker, and one Peter Brown. Peter, you're already playing a game. That is how you're just you're ready to go. He is ex That's professional. fucking professional. That's why I'm here, right? I like it. <laughs> Now you uh, you work for GameSpot.com, which is a website. I do. It uh, is. Yeah. And uh, I've seen you cover keyboards. <laughs> I've seen you cover <laughs> all me. sorts of stuff. But today we have you here to cover Guacamole. Yeah. Um, which uh, we have here. Uh, you're running on a PlayStation Three. What do you think? Uh, this game's great. I mean, as you probably heard, it's kind of like a Metroidvania-ish game where mm -hmm. you know you got a huge map. Your abilities go back, let you open up more of the map, and the fun continues. Um, this game is just awesome. It's really so, I mean, like, the whole Metroidvania thing, I think, implies, like, a lot of abilities and stuff. But, yeah. I mean, are you turning into mist? Are you getting magic? Like, what is the... <laughs> yeah, you're Immediately the, to the you, Symphony of the Night reference. What? Yeah. Are you getting yeah. an ice beam? You can turn into you? bats and fly yeah. around. So, uh, he, doesn't, he doesn't have any projectiles. Everything is sort of, like, melee-focused. But he does have a, a lot of movement abilities that you earn, where you can, like, sprint up a wall, or you can kind of do, like, a Superman, like, flight... You know, sort of maneuver right. when you fly. Um, and then there's plenty of reason to backtrack and, and oh yeah, and the, yeah, I mean, see stuff. Yeah, the game kind of hints at a, a second ending, Whoa. and uh, there's like a an item at the end. You spend a lot of the game collecting pieces of hearts and uh, stamina masks. Hmm. But at the end of the game, it's like, hey, check it out. There's so that chest up there, you would have had to have run up that wall or something, right? right? Okay. Yeah. There's, there's kind of a. It's not exactly a double jump, but there is a second sort of jump midair. Okay. There, but you there also is get a double, a double jump. jump as well. Oh, oh really? <laughs> yeah. uh, so yeah. There are okay. two different ways to double right. jump. What is this second sort of jump? It's, That's the vaguest well, thing I've ever well, fucking. Well, so you what use attacks what it, to it, also what move. What it okay. is? All right. Okay. What it is is an uppercut. It's it is a stamina burning uppercut. Okay. But you can pop it midair, so it effectively acts kind of as a second jump. All right. Um, back on that last screen too, there was like a little section that was kind of like on the ground that mm -hmm. looked like it could go in. So there's not like a Metroid morph ball in here, but you turn into a chicken, and it lets you. It's the same well, thing. Well, great. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, if you you want to pop it in the mini, can the chicken quick. drop bombs? Uh, uh no. Okay. Zoom All in right. over there a little bit. So you see the different kind of colored blocks if you go up. Yeah, like there, yeah. There is pretty much all the colors, I guess. Yeah. Like those all correspond to like so the red ones can be broken with that uppercut you get. So okay. It's, so they, it's they real do obvious, still give you real yeah, obvious yeah. shorthand of hey, you got this move, you should right. come back here and, and do these. Yeah. That's cool. Uh, yeah. It, it, so yeah. when you get the move, it does it. It's color coded. Okay. Yeah. The move is color coded. Yeah, you know immediately right. which yeah. which color goes along. Okay. okay. The only thing the only thing that it doesn't uh, explicitly lay out is you eventually get a move that. Shrinks you to like this chicken, like tiny chicken, so you can get to yeah. small spaces. Right, oh, is that That's, chicken magic? That stuff you have to, like you can That's kind of see, it. you yeah, can yeah. kind of see it on the map sometimes, but it's it's pretty small. Um, but the the thing is about this game is that it's small enough that traversing the entire world once, like once it's all unlocked, right. you know, I, you're talking maybe 30 minutes. Yeah, so like yeah. to go through each individual check section uh, with a new power, not not yeah. a huge amount of time. Okay. So. Uh, it's not that frustrating that one part's not. Would you say that, really that it's? Explicit? I mean, let's talk world size here. You say it's somewhere around the size of, sh say, a shadow complex. Uh, seems maybe smaller than a little that? smaller than that. If okay. You right. Pop back to the menu map or the the map, map real quick and hit triangle. There's the world. Yeah. Okay. All right. So it's, it's yeah. maybe like what, like five, six hours to mainline it. If, yeah. If you just wanted to go straight through five hours, I'd say so maybe be eight too hard to, to, to get do back everything. And, yeah, I'd say a little bit more. I'm closer to like 10 right now, trying oh, to 100% right. it. But um, do you think? Is there game, any indication that it will go above 100%? Uh, n no, I don't believe so. Because okay. one of the things. No inverted lucha castle. No, I mean, but I don't know. Because at the end of the game, there's like an item. Uh, it's a it's a mask basically that uh, you get the first piece when you beat the boss. And the ending is really short, so you're like, okay, there's obviously something I'm okay, missing. Okay, you need to go get right. Yeah, yeah. which okay. is what I'm trying to do right now, and that's taking quite a bit of legwork cool. to find all the. Because it's not like. 
the thing is, to 100% this game, you don't uncover the entire map, you find all the items, right? So you'll right, spend okay. time trying to like fill it in, and then you're like, oh wait, this doesn't go anywhere. So this is a right. blatant Super Metroid reference. I don't get it, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't know... It's not, it's, if it's not Symphony of the Night, <laughs> yeah, probably that's pretty much. Yeah, you can say that about all video games, and even then, it's, that's probably a little sketchy too. What's an Alucard? Uh, what do you think of the dialogue? It's okay. I saw them spelling yeah. dude D O O D, which I am always a little partial to when they do it right. Yeah. Uh, but I don't know. I guess I've, I've heard some people talking mess about this game, leaning a little too hard on internet jokes. It does a lot, but at the same time, it does it, it like twists it within the world. Mm. So it for me it didn't seem so bad. I Don't, kind of enjoyed it. So it's, it's, not, the, it's not a Borderlands 2 situation then. I hope not. I mean do, do the Reddit memes pop up in the dialogue that much? Like no. I see them mostly in the background on like posters right. and stuff. Well, which dude, is easy to ignore. Dude is kind of a reference to uh, the printy games. Right. Okay. Um there's a well I mean I mean there is a or maybe there's more there that Back I in the old days that's just how we spelled these <laughs> old days on BBSs sure. and such. Sure. Uh, I am not going to lie. I am kind of partial to talking goats. <laughs> For some reason, I don't know why. Is that what is that a save why. point there? Uh, save point slash shop. Yeah, and you okay. basically just right. run by these and it saves automatically. And there cool. are a ton of them. Oh. And you can buy a bunch of new special moves and stuff yeah. in there. Do you, yeah. do you feel that, that, that there being so many save points is maybe a factor of it also being on the Vita, where you might be having a, a shorter play session? Or is it just kind that of, just, part of just it. friendly? Overall, the game is pretty forgiving. Like, check, so right here, I'm just following this pit. In any other game, okay. yeah, usually yeah. you'd lose health. It just zips you right, right. back. Um, but Zero this, stakes. Right, but then I think what it allows the game to do is become a little bit more challenging in certain sections, so you're not afraid to, like, you know, like, tackle it. Like, right there, that would be really hard, and if I died, I'd be kind of pissed. Right. Oh! Like that. Oh! oh. Like that. Yeah, I'd say the, the, the checkpointing, the rabbit checkpointing is often there so that when there are those difficult platforming sections, later in the game, there'll be ones where you're dying. Yeah. Yeah. If you die, you get looped back to a checkpoint, and it would be really frustrating if that checkpoint was was, was too far, far away. away. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, does it I mean, the game gets plenty difficult. Like if, you, say, if you're, you're looking for Meat the... Boy esque challenges, like especially the optional rooms that open up when you're looking for stamina upgrades and health upgrades, uh -huh. game's got it. Like even yeah. the mainline platforming. And it's just straight up plat like, platforming is, is where a lot of the difficulty comes from. Uh -huh. Is there a lot of difficult combat? No, the, the combat. Uh -huh. At least I didn't find the combat to be too, too like, tough. Like once you start looking for everything, there is like sort of like a trial section where you have to go like room through room of like increasingly more difficult waves of enemies. Uh -huh. That gets pretty tough. Um, and then yeah, the platforming shit, like last night I got to a section that was say like four screens tall with disappearing platforms are about as wide as your, your stance. Yeah. That was kind of frustrating, yeah. but then, you know, rewarding once I got through it. Sure. So. Let, me, let me ask you a question. When you're grappling these guys, which you yeah. do by hitting triangle, are you actually aiming the throw there? Yeah, I do that oh. with the left stick. And it like gives you... you can, so you basically hold triangle and aim? Uh, I, I don't know if you have to hold it. You just hit it, basically. I didn't realize you could do that. I thought it was kind of only up, down, left, right. No, no, you, no, you can do diagonal. Oh, I didn't know you could do that. And then once you unlock the, the circle moves, if you hit circle, once you hit... Uh, tri hitting triangle puts you into grapple. And then grapple, you can also hit circle. And then you can do a suplex move, you can do a, di you can do a kick move, and those have different implications okay. for the amount of damage you deal out and then the implications for the enemies it hits uh, along the way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, being, being able to aim the throw is awesome because it... Lets you do some crowd control. Yeah, you and can knock other guys down with it. Yeah, there's like a sort of like a training uh, house in one of the villages, um, or towards the end, because you go through different rounds of increasingly harder uh, combos, and once you get to the end, it's like you know you're you're beating a guy up, throwing him midair, grabbing him there, throwing him to the right, dashing over, and you land about 15 hits before that combo's done. Yeah, those are really fun. I didn't yeah. end up using them a lot playing the game, but I enjoyed going to the training room. Oh yeah, and just sort of push, realizing how deep the combat can be for as simple as it is. Yeah, the final round is really tough. I was um, say, like, it, is that really the only place where you feel the need to use all those moves? Well, or? it's sort of like... They, they do stuff like this pretty frequently, Yeah, right? okay. yeah. A lot, so, of, a lot of kind of little arenas here. Yeah, 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 a lot of little arenas. And the section I was talking about with increasingly, like, bigger waves of enemies, after going through those trials, it then becomes... Like you realize, like okay, well, I really am using all of that that training. Maybe it's yeah. not the exact combo, but you just yeah. you can tell you're, you're doing a little more than just mashing something yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And they introduce some some pretty interesting variables in the combat later, where like they have uh, an enemy that's basically just a bomb, uh -huh. and he'll be oh, fuck those guys. Those will spawn in different parts of the arena, usually in spots that require you to like jump up a wall, jump off, and then get caught in an animation where you can keep hitting the guy over and over as you're falling. Mm, but if yeah. you don't hit him enough times 
he'll explode, and then you take uh, damage no matter where you are okay. in the arena. Huh. Um, so you're doing, you're trying to take those guys out while also running crowd control over like six enemies that are running around yeah. hmm. that on their own aren't that tough. Right. But when you add right. in all these things together, uh, Jeff, that, that wait, just, yes, great, go back in there, real quick. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's a pret's tail right above the door. Nice. <laughs> How great is that? Pretty great. All right. <laughs> pretty great. Uh, 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 I mean, with all that stuff happening on screen and and, and all that crowd control, uh, is it more difficult to figure out what's going on on the Vita? Smaller screen, smaller stuff. I didn't, no, I didn't find any problem. Okay. Um, another thing that'll happen during combat too, which I'm not sure if you guys mentioned, I was kind of focused. Uh, Certain enemies will have like a shield around them that's color coded based on a certain type of attack. Okay. You can't actually damage them until you hit them with that first. Mm. Um, that becomes really hard with those bomb enemies he was talking about. Just to get rid of them quickly becomes a pain in the ass. Yeah. The, uh, the PS3 version runs in gorgeous 1080p. <laughs> so ob obviously the Vita version is like lower res or whatever. Right. But, but it right. it's, it's plays exactly the same. I've played a good chunk of it yeah. on the Vita. Super smooth, you know, works yeah. identically. I, I bought it this morning and downloaded it on the Vita, but I have not been able to actually. Like play it, it, it seems like it, it would be perfectly fine as a Vita only game if, if you want to play it that way. Yeah, right. I, I primarily played it on the Vita. Yeah. Cool. There's Link. Um, and, and I do think the, I, I think the Reddit or internet meme references in this game are not bothersome and have really gotten sort of overblown in yeah. terms of how people have, because they're in the background. I agree that they sort of are a distraction and that the game has its own sense of humor and culture that they're unneeded, or at least to the degree that they're there, but I also don't think it's that big of a deal. And I've kind of seen it dominate the conversation in a way yeah, that yeah, it's, has, it's been, really has been dumb. too bad. I think that's yeah. one of those things that, you know, after after Borderlands 2, I think people are just kind of looking for that stuff. Yeah. And, but, the, but this and is in no way. go yeah. to 11 sure. when, when they see it. Right. I, I understand that mentality. Yeah. I, I don't like it when games rely on someone else's jokes. Sure. Uh, but yeah. yeah, like you said, this, this seems like it has enough of its own thing going on. It's, yeah. it's in the background. That's just supplemental It's not in the dialogue. It's not, it's, it's, not, not. it's no way as overt as your main character in Borderlands 2 yelling, cool story, bro, right. and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, I don't even want to think about, think about that. Uh, so combat tutorial here. I mean, you've been playing for a little bit. Does it... Give you tutorial every time you get new moves, or no? You kind of go back here. Um, this is optional. You, yeah, it's oh, totally okay. optional. Right. Yeah, so um, but you get like items for completing the the more difficult tutorials. Combo training. Yeah. But if you want to stick to your punch, 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 just mash it through. Like you'll get through the game just yeah, fine. Yeah. Like it's the, the game sort of gives you the option to engage with its combat as much as. And you can get those longer combos. You're getting like more resources out of it. Is there is there, is there an XP system? No. Okay, you're getting more money for the shops or anything, or no, is it just I mean, sort just, of by kills? Well, no, it's just that you are better better suited to okay. kicking butt, I guess. Yeah. There are trophies for racking up combos, so sure. there there's yeah. that incentive, but you're not you're not getting uh, like the economy is not right. thrown off if you're really good at, at the combat. Yeah, but this is you guys right here. Great. Oh, hey, yeah. wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Drop down through there real quick. Let's go take a look at the monkey that I thought was. Alex Kid. Where's the oh uh, the the I'm lost or whatever? It does look like well, Alex there it is. Kid. There it yeah. Is. Yeah, I guess that's the that's the monkey that got loose in an IKEA. Uh, okay. Can you see some Alex Kid? Totally. There? No, but they got the little sideburns. sideburns. Yeah, Alex yeah, Kid has always yeah. been a little simian. And the to big me. ears, yeah. definitely. Right. Uh, I understand why you would why you would be confused. Also, what monkey? I don't know. Yeah, I didn't I know about it either. About, no IKEA monkey. I felt, so. you know what? I felt real good coming out of this game, not knowing about like 80 percent of this stuff. Yeah. It bummed me out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I need to read more books. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I'm saying that this this game just issue a patch that replaces all the internet stuff with just stuff with from books. Yeah, give me an internet purchase that just gives yeah. some. It's like, yo, did you DLC. read Freakonomics? Then this billboard is going to crack you up. <laughs> DLC pack. Oh, look, it's a reference to Ulysses. <laughs> is that Tolstoy? With five cigarettes yeah, Tolstoy in his mouth? Yeah, Tolstoy was always talking about churros. <laughs> oh, man, churros. Back in the day, Peter, we used to always talk about how GameSpot needed a churro machine. I can't imagine that would be a good idea. Uh, 
Originally, Joe Fielder had started the rumor that we were promised a churro machine, <laughs> I think, when we moved to this building. Wow. So you felt entitled to one. Actually. No, I mean, I, I was in on that part of it. So oh, it was okay. just, just right. trying to incite enough, like, <laughs> near violence around the concept would a, of churros. Would a churro machine just store and distribute churros? Would or are we talking about in? a machine that actually, like, makes them from the base of ingredients? I don't know enough. Of, I don't know how are churros are made. Are you playing a person who is making the churros? I, like, would, I envision yeah. that you could produce a machine that is like a plate fun factory for yeah. churros okay you could build some kind of robot assembly line that would that would at the end of it would generate a churro right I mean that's not yeah. <laughs> I don't want to put churro workers out of work but so while there's got to be a better way well you guys are talking about churros this is uh, me switching like I don't know dimensions more or less like the land of the living and the land of the dead okay um, it comes into play with some platforming stuff um, that's and that's of, something you that's can eventually well. kind of switch at you will? Get, yeah, yeah, you earn the ability. Not eh, Maybe a third of the way through the game. Mm -hmm. There will be enemies that are shadow enemies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but there are no like items hidden between the worlds. Okay. Maybe the path to get to the item, you'll have to switch, but All right. it's not like a second castle. Right, okay. Cool. Brad, do you see anything in the chat that people want to know about Do I Quacamele? ever? <laughs> Nomon Fire asks the most burning of questions. All right. Guacamole in your burritos, yes, no. No. No? Yes. yes. No? No. You need moisture. Dude. No, you don't. Yes. No. No, yes, the, you do. The, the meat is wet. Yes. The and cheese is, is sometimes damp as well. Hang You're on. lucky let, if the meat's wet. Let me present a counter proposal. Yes. Uh, I'm going count, I'm, I'm to counter your counter proposal. Yeah. I'm saying nah. Oh. I'm Stop. saying if you are getting. Uh, beans are often wet. Mmm. Okay. The cheese, guac is cold. Cheese is like, a wet. Oh, are you doing cheese? I don't, I don't want a cold. Are you, doing, are you doing cheese? Yeah. Are you doing sour cream? No. Okay. Oof. I'm with you on that. No. Oh, I, I want sour cream. I don't like I, want, I don't like you like cilantro. Oh, I oh, like love cilantro. cilantro. Yeah. That's one of the best I can, things. I can take or leave cilantro. I prefer to leave it, but you I, know. I'm gonna say cheese and guacamole. I that, want the, that guy definitely. That guy wants the guacamole. That guy doesn't know what guacamole is. Yeah. I'm saying cheese optional. Definitely sour cream. Definitely guacamole. I'm just saying meat 